So, last year at Embedded World, we joined Arduino Pro to talk about this, the Opta. Now, this is their PLC. It is an industrial controller, and uh, it's something that many people in the makerspace aren't necessarily used to the idea of, because these are things that have been found for many years in industrial environments that have a very specific way of working with them, their own kind of programming language, which of course you can do with the Opta, but it is also an Arduino, so it's a lot easier to work with. Is that a fair way of describing the Opta, do you think? Totally. Yeah, that's a very good way of describing our micro PLC developed with Finder and Arduino, yeah. which is getting a lot of traction, a lot of good customer feedback. So we're very happy about it. I'm glad to hear it. And I forgot to mention, I'm joined by Stefano from Arduino here. I forgot to give you your introduction. But one of the things that's nice here is that last year we held up, well, this, we held up a box and people were kind of like, nice box, but what does it do? Well, now we can show you. You have a, a demo here showing how an Opta can be used in the wild, so to speak. So do you want to talk us through what's going on here? Yes, absolutely. This is an example of, uh, let me say, energy monitoring based anomaly detection because we have a DC motor mm -hmm. and a hull sensor. Yeah. So in simple terms, the electricity is flowing through the motor. We're measuring the, electri the electric consumption, mm -hmm. analyzing it and understanding if everything's fine or some anomaly is going on. So you can do predictive maintenance by training the algorithm properly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And of course, this is something that is massively useful because there's not really much point having monitoring and control of your industrial devices if you don't know when something goes wrong. That's the entire point of predictive maintenance. And that's what makes this so good. Now, there was one thing that just before we started, Stefan, uh, Stefano mentioned that one of the biggest things that people have been asking you for for the PLC is they love this. They love the Opta, but they wanted more outputs. Now, I do believe more outputs are coming. Is this correct? That's absolutely correct, Ian. We, we, ja we are releasing the digital expansion modules mm -hmm. and the analog expansion modules. Yeah. So as you can see here on the side, there is an AUX port. Mm -hmm. So on your DIN rail, you can just connect Opta with the expansion, oh, yeah, seamless okay. integration, and you got how many, how many more IOs mm -hmm. for that. Okay, so, so essentially these are daisy chainable. So you could attach one and then essentially attach one of these to the other side. And Correct. Okay, that's, that's awesome. So yeah, lim limitless GPIOs provided that you uh, work with them right. But, um, but one of the things that is mentioned, uh, like I said, one of the things that was mentioned last time that we talked about these is that people love the idea of learning how industrial controllers work, um, but they might be at the start of their journey. They might be getting into it from a kind of a maker perspective rather than engineering. I certainly never studied to be an engineer. If people want to learn about PLC and industrial automation, is there a particular way or a kit that Arduino have that can help them with that? Absolutely, yes, Ian. Let me mention that you can program Opta with the usual Arduino programming languages yeah. or PLC uh, languages, right? So we have a PLC ID dedicated for that. To allow people to learn the PLC languages, we have a kit I'm going to show you. Okay. It's called the PLC Starter Kit. Yeah. We provide the classes and everything else that you need to learn PLC programming on the Opta. Yeah. With some other boards to allow for some IOs and temperature measurement as well. Yeah. So yeah, so just to just to clarify that I heard you right, as well as the actual hardware box, there is a, a dedicated kind of lessons to learn how to use the Opta. There's a course online that you can use for that. Is that correct? Correct. This All is right. a product for education. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I didn't realize that when we talked before that there's actually a, a, an educational aspect and course side to it. That's that's really quite interesting. Well, um, yeah, uh, the Opta is one of the ones that I found very interesting from the get go because PLC uh, and, and industrial automation is something that is so out of my wheelhouse. I knew nothing about it really before. But um, but the fact that this is something that people who are already very deep into PLC design can use natively in a language they understand and people who know how to use Arduino code and the Arduino IDE can use, it's a very wide thing. And I'm very glad to see that you have this. Um, the one thing I just did want to ask is for the Opta and for the learning kit, is this uh, something that is available now? Where can people find it? So the PSC starter kit is available. The expansion modules are going to be available very soon. Very soon. Yes. Well, Stefano, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.